my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Now, we know that we've seen Krishan Brock and Blueface go through many altercations online. And even though Blueface is locked up, I have no doubt that since him and Krishan are back together, it would be more drama. We have to remember that's how these two got really popping on social media in the first place. So you can expect now that these two are back together and if they're still together by June, which is said to be allegedly Blueface's release date, there's definitely going to be a lot of drama still going on between the two. Well, fans have been completely bashing Carlissa, which is Blueface's mom, for the part that they feel like she plays in how her son treats women. Well, Carlissa decided to get on Instagram Live and let it be known that her son Jonathan didn't start putting his hands on Krishan or any other woman until he felt like he was provoked or he was forced to. She also lets it be known that Jonathan never told Krishan or even Jaden for that matter that he wanted to be with them. She says that she recalls her son Blueface telling Jaden, look, I like you a lot, but I'm not ready to be in anything serious with you. And then Jade and Alexis just kept on trying to be in a serious, committed relationship with Blueface, and they ended up having children with each other. And also, she says that she doesn't recall Blueface telling Krishan that, oh, I want to be with you. Now, I'm pretty sure she's telling the truth. She probably doesn't recall it, but I have no doubt that behind the scenes, Jonathan is whispering some stuff in some people's ears. Let's go ahead and get into the audio and then we'll get into our thoughts and opinions. John not about to put his hands on no female, on no woman, unless you hit him to the point where he has to. We all watch that. Y'all gonna play dumb to kingdom come. We gonna, we gonna find out. We gonna, we gonna find out. Cause John got some females he done dealt with for a long time that ain't never put their hands on him, them and he ain't never put their hands on them. You got some women out here that love the man more than they love they self. They just swing on a man until he have to defend himself. Why would you do that? He ain't tell now one of y'all he want to be with y'all. If we go Google right now, did John say he want to be with Krishan? It's going to pop up from day one that he said no. It's going to pop up that he told Jaden, I'm not ready to be serious ever since he was 16 years old. I like you a lot, but I'm not ready to be serious. So when a man tell y'all that, when a man tell y'all that, take that with a grain of salt. He don't, he don't like you like that. He not ready for that. He may not be ready for that. He ain't even ready for that. My husband said he wasn't ready. He knew he wasn't ready till he was almost 40. Some men just ain't ready. That's what it is. You have to respect that. You can't beat them up to do it. You can't punch them to do it. You can't get mad at them to do it. You can't make no man be ready until he's ready. So that's what Carlissa had to say. Now, I'm not really here for her putting Jade and Alexa's business out there because she done had two kids by Blueface. Why well, just out her and embarrass her by saying her baby father never said that he wanted to be with her? Like I said, I feel like behind the scenes, Jonathan Blueface was probably saying something, but probably really telling his family in total, like, look, I don't see myself with Jade and Alexis. Of course, your son is not going to tell you everything. But honestly, I feel like Carlissa definitely had some key points here it really doesn't matter what their words are saying it's mostly about a person's actions and i can't stress this enough with ladies i feel like maybe with us ladies our words may hold value some ladies not all ladies because i do believe that everybody is different but especially with guys you have to hold them up to their actions so it doesn't really matter what their words are saying if their actions is proving otherwise it just shows that they don't want to be with you and i think that's what carlissa is saying and i feel like with Krishan and blueface neither one of them neither one of them should have been putting their hands on each other but it was going on i'm honestly still surprised to this day that krishan rock and blueface's relationship was made so popular when it was so so harmful to social media so harmful for their fan base for kids to see like i do agree with chris brown it's like why was krishan rock and blueface relationship so glorified why did people love it so much when it was just as toxic as what he went through with Rihanna and he's still getting the flack to this day it really just doesn't make sense like I said I really hope Krishan Rock and Blueface just keep 
their distance away from each other. I'm hoping that they don't stay together because I don't want to hear nothing else about what goes on between the two when Blueface gets released in June, okay? Y'all let me know in the comment section if you're with me. Now let's go ahead and move on to Nicki Minaj. Now Nicki Minaj is trending right now. Not Nicki Minaj has her fans in their feelings. They are getting on social media and crying and everything. Now we know Nicki Minaj is on her Pink Friday 2 tour and it looks like her show for New Orleans was completely canceled and this has fans getting really in their feelings. We're going to go ahead and get into the audio of one fan crying. But first let's go ahead and get into this article. It says Nicki Minaj's New Orleans show canceled hours before due to doctor's orders. Tour officials said we are working diligently to find a new date so please hold on to your tickets and we will inform you all soon. It also says New Orleans according to the tour officials Nicki Minaj Pink Friday 2 world tour was canceled hours before the sold out show due to doctor's orders. As Nicki is still sick our team does not want to run the risk of getting others sick. Nicki would not be able to give New Orleans the show that they deserve okay. Now like I said Nicki Minaj is trending right now because a lot of her New Orleans barbs are losing it right now. I've seen people making videos definitely in their feelings. I've seen this one fan in this pink shirt as you guys can see right here on this screen and he was completely crying hysterically. You can tell that this is not even a joke for him. He's not even playing around at all. He's super emotional in his feelings and I don't think that I realized the impact Nicki Minaj had until I seen this video. Let's go ahead and get into the audio. It is. I just left the arena. I just left the arena. And they said that in this council. People were leaving work and everything. And um, they said that they didn't have an official statement from her team yet. So that they couldn't really say anything if it was rescheduled or not. But they most definitely did say that it was canceled. It was other people there and everything. It's just, it's so hurtful. Like, I understand that people get sick and I understand that people go through stuff. But at the same time, we have paid money to be here. We have took time off work. We have took time out of our busy lives. And she still haven't said anything. You guys hear that? You hear how emotional he is? You can hear it in his voice. You don't even need to see the video. Because of copyright reasons, I couldn't post the video, but I will have it posted on my Instagram. I run for tea with two A's at the end. Make sure you follow me. But he is so emotional about this. He said, look, people took off of work. We were so ready. We were so happy. And he was saying that he didn't see Nicki Minaj say anything, but I did see Nicki Minaj post two days ago. So I'm not really sure what he's talking about. Maybe on the 18th today, she she didn't post anything but Nicki Minaj posted and she said Barb's please send me healing energy woke up feeling like I have COVID thank God I don't you guys are just everything I appreciate you I love you so much it says the Smoothie King Center doors were set to open at 7 p.m. on Monday. Minaj last performed on Friday at Rolling Loud in California. On Saturday, she tweeted that she woke up feeling like she had COVID. She also said, Barb's, please send me healing energy. And that's the tweet that she said. I'm not going to reread it. But okay, this makes perfect sense. So she did say something after Rolling Loud, but she didn't say something exactly on the date of the 18th. And I guess that's what he's talking about. But like I said, Nicki Minaj definitely has a big impact on her barbs obviously it's kind of like Nicki Minaj and the beehive right I mean they would feel some type of way as well but hopefully Nicki Minaj does get better I did see a few fans posting and saying we're praying for Nicki Minaj but other fans are completely upset they like I took off a of work for this I took off a of time in my busy schedule and you ain't coming and you ain't saying nothing come on now now speaking of Nicki Minaj yo her sister her sister is completely embarrassing her at this point okay and that's what people are saying I'm gonna say it as well I just feel like it anyways this video is floating around of Nicki Minaj's sister Ming Lee and as we know she's constantly getting on Instagram live and talking about Nicki Minaj but then saying that she doesn't want to be in the shadows of her older sister and then she does this video basically talking about her bedroom life and talking about how she was messing around with this girl but her cat smelled like fish and it smelled like deodorant at the same time I'm like why 
why is she telling this story this story is completely embarrassing now i'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt she's just all over the place right now but a lot of people are saying in the comment section that they feel like she really needs Nicki minaj's guidance and i see this as well i mean obviously there is a problem between Nicki minaj and her sister because she kept on bringing it up on the instagram live but it's just super unfortunate because i feel like she could really use Nicki minaj's guidance especially with the fact that she wants to be in the music industry okay i think she needs that big sister role model okay y'all let me know what y'all think about all these topics my lovely tts in the comment section once again thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel oh yeah i will have this video of Nicki minaj's sister saying what she said here but it will be a little chopped up because she is doing a lot of cursing i will have the full video posted on my instagram like i said i room for tea with two a's at the end i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night